Hello and welcome to the Anani News. This week's main topics are Quebec, David Miscavige cited at Ideal Org opening, Twitter, Anon Operation drives Christy Alley mad, and Hollywood Mega Raid, trailer has been released. Whyweprotest.net has unveiled a temporary front page that takes some of the focus off of genealogy and shows a broader view of the initiatives Anonymous has taken part in. Iran.whyweprotest.net and noprorogue.whyweprotest.net are now on equal footing with the anti-Scientology forums.whyweprotest.net. For those who were unaware, Iran.whyweprotest has served the Iranian people as a means to get information into and out of their country after allegations of election fraud and severe communication crackdowns. No Protest exists to assist Canadian protesting against the premature closure of their parliament. Apparently Fowler's employees put money into a so-called investment fund in the firm. The company billed clients and paid the 1099s. They worked on a split and got 50% of whatever they made. The company got 40% and 10% went into the investment fund. When a 1099 left, their investment would not be repaid because the contract included a six-month bug fix clause. The source on why we protest mentioned that apparently Fowler always offered a buyout and the agreements that were signed forfeited the entire investment. On why we protest, it is also being assumed that this money went straight to cost, possibly a wise membership contribution, and that Chancio has discovered that. Stay tuned by reading the thread on why we protest. Marty Rathbun posted an email from Bridge Publications on his blog. In it, the Scientologists are asking for donations to send thousands upon thousands of Scientology booklets into the hands of people of Haiti, which are suffering lack of food, water, and shelter. The minimum donation is $500 and is tax-deductible. Anonymous notes that this money would be better spent on supplies and wonders why giving a publishing house money to produce a product for self-serving PR is tax-deductible. A recent report from Gawker.com features the first-hand story of a reporter who hitched a ride with a Scientology charter plane. He reports that the happy, excited volunteer ministers were inadequately prepared for the adventure. No food, no soap, no place to stay. Their cunning plan was to buy supplies with donation money when they got to Haiti. The problem is, there are no supplies for sale in Haiti. A once-thought-lost Dianetics seminar companion guide has been released onto the internet. It is over 80 pages of auditing description, pictures and examples. Now you too can be a trained Scientology auditor. Train alongside such great individuals as wife beaters and masochists. You can now get your very own pre-clears to share with you their most embarrassing and private memories. And if you really want to get into the spirit of Scientology, you can keep precise records of their revelations and use the records to blackmail them later. Isn't regressive psychotherapy fun? The California Office of Occupational Safety and Health has agreed to enforce several complaints about the facilities at Gold Base. The formal complaints were from eyewitness accounts of danger to workers at Gold Base. A total of 10 complaints were filed, which result in 5 alleged conditions that need to be remedied. Gold Base management has to respond to OSHA by February 3, 2010. One aspect that will be easily verifiable is the removal of the ultra-barrier spikes and other sharp hazards that decorate the fences around the detention area. Please do not hesitate to drive by Gold Base after February 3, 2010 to see if the spikes are still on the fences. This particular item should require very little corrective action time. Failure to remove the spikes after February 3 needs to be reported to OSHA. The Church of Scientology of Arizona is being hauled back into court for a debtor examination due to non-payment of the December 2009 judgment against them. The judge signed off the paperwork late Friday afternoon when he found out the Church of Scientology is in contempt for not paying the judgment against them. However, this time the judge has ordered the flag banking officer, the ED, and one of the directors of the corporation, who is also a Class 6 auditor of the org, to appear in court and answer some very detailed questions and to fully explain the org's finances, assets, sources of money and, more importantly, to follow the money trail. Scientology Term or German Techno Artist David Israel and Jennifer Bein discovered the common denominators of Scientology terms and the names of German techno-artists. They expressed their findings in a flash game. Players decide whether a strange term is more likely to stem from Scientology or from German techno-artists. You can find it on mentalfloss.com. On February 1st, a new online operation started, the Twitter Trending Topic Operation. 
The goal was to interrogate Tom Cruise and Christy Alley, who are both active on Twitter, especially Christy Alley, who is already known for her Twitter rage when being trolled, making her an easy target. The second goal was to establish the Twitter trending topic hashtag Scientology is a cult and making it widely known amongst Twitter users. To do this, the message at Tom Cruise, at Christy Alley, hash Scientology is a cult, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. And a short link was posted repeatedly with multiple accounts throughout the microblogging service. And the reaction came within minutes. Live action, Christy Alley, on Twitter, the sky is falling, at Virtual Studios, thousands of them, literally, many thousands, since blocking them is not working, somehow they found a way around blocking. The operation is still going on, and Anonymous has provided a nicely written platform-independent Java tool to help you tweet your message automatically. You can find the download link within the description. The Church of Scientology Exit Survey The survey created in late 2009 still needs people that have been involved with the Church of Scientology to take the poll. The goal is to analyze the data obtained by the completely anonymous survey to find effective, not yet discovered ways to fight the Church of Scientology and find new strategies to reach people in the cult. So if you've been involved with the cult, please take this survey. Six Florida-based Scientology front groups have joined forces with possible naive El Especial newspapers to build an orphanage and school called Future of Haiti. Groups named are Church of Scientology Volunteer Ministers, Youth for Human Rights Florida, Clearwater Academy International, Washburn Academy, Delphi Academy of Florida, and International Youth Theater. Members of these groups are reportedly collecting supplies and raising funds. While laudable, the Scientologists' motivation is challenged by critics who allege the cult is establishing Scientology training centers to indoctrinate orphan children into the controversial organization. Putting the world in session is the motto on the website video. The global pioneers are clearly another Scientology front group using the trick of establishing a name similar to that of another organization, Global Pioneers. Global pioneers are Christian missionaries and creationists spreading the word of God and intelligent design. The global pioneers are Scientologists with a similar goal, spreading the word of a dead American science fiction writer. The global pioneers have teamed up with Scientology front group Narconon in an Adopt an Orphanage project seeking to supply 20 Haitian orphanages with food, supplies and L. Ron Hubbard courses, which should serve the orphans well should they wind up as human traffic, slaving in the U.S. for organized Scientology. A controversial drug rehabilitation facility belonging to the Scientology organization is scheduled to close its Newport Beach facility on February 10, 2010. This is in response to new, tough laws regulating drug rehab facilities in Newport Beach following a grassroots campaign to curtail the expansion of such facilities in the million-dollar neighborhoods of the beach communities. While several other large rehab facilities have downsized to comply, the Narconon program was guaranteed for closure by the new regulations. U.S. Office of Inspector General has no files on Scientology. Last year, Anonymous made a Freedom of Information Act request to the U.S. Office of Inspector General for any and all records relating to Scientology. According to this document, which was just released last week, there are zero records. How can this be if even Google search finds results that mention Scientology-related investigations by research specialists of the OIG? Anonymous will further investigate this issue. U.S. President Obama was taking questions on YouTube this week. Anonymous submitted several questions concerning Scientology's tax-exempt status and the business nature of the cult. Although these questions were among the top voted, the President did not mention them. This is the second try to approach the President directly after Anonymous submitted the Scientology tax-exempt issue in the online briefing book, also with a high number of supporting votes on Change.gov in early 2009.